Axel's Garage. We are an Axel shop down in the basement, and we are going to give you our 60-day holster review for the Amberide inside the waistband Kydex holster. Now stick with me till the end of the video because this is going to have some twists and turns and a very special announcement for our next review at the end of the video. So stick by. Links on everything we're discussing today is in the description below as always. Normally it would go 60 days ago, but we're talking maybe six months ago. It was, I filmed the, the original Amberide video, the unboxing and the overview, probably mid-February, and I think we published it the first week of March. So let's, let's give February as a wash. March, April, there's our 60 days. I wore the Amberide holster every day. At the end of that 60 days, instead of doing the review, I went back to the We The People, and then I went back to the Amberide. Wore it for a couple more weeks, both holsters. Then I went back to the Concealment Express. Then back to the Amberide. And then I, I kind of made a left turn from my normal review process. And I took the Amberide holster that I had ordered for the Shield, the Smith & Wesson Shield, and I started wearing that one. And I wound up wearing that one for two to three months. And here we are in mid-October. What happened? Well, that Amberite holster, if you remember the first one that I got for the Glock 19, I go on, I order it, a viewer suggested the Amberide. So I go on and I go to Amberide's website, there's a whole lot of this. There's a whole lot of, of Texas all over it. And I said, wow, that's kind of neat. I, you know, I like that Texas pride. I like that, that whole, they got a lot of pride in this state. You go to Texas and I've been to Texas and there's Texas flags everywhere. Everybody that's got a business has a Texas flag. If they have a house, they got a Texas flag. We don't see that here in New York. It's a lot of nonsense in New York. People hate New York. They don't even know what the flag looks like and they wouldn't hang it up for anything. So like that whole Texas, you know, that Texas thing. And I, I go online and the holster is cheap. It's like 20, I don't remember. You have to re revert back to the first Amberide video. It was, it was inexpensive, the holster. I want to, I want to remember like $27. This is a $40 holster challenge. And this holster is coming in at like 27. I don't know whether it was free shipping or there was a promo code for the shipping, whatever it was. And I ordered for the Glock 19. And then when I go to finalize my order, they give me, you know, like how some of the websites, they say, well, you might also be interested in this. Or or for the next 10 minutes, if you order this, 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 we give you extra discount. And they did. And it was like under 20 bucks or 20 bucks or maybe even less for the next holster. And the shipping would be built in with the first one. And it was dirt cheap. So I said, well, let me get one. I don't have uh, an inside the waistband Kydex for the Smith & Wesson Shield. Let me get a Shield one. So I get the Shield one and they come in. And they're, they're in these packages, and I, I open the first one up, and I look through it, and I love it, and there was nothing other than a big Texas thing on here, amberide.com, and, and some information, and a bag, no fluff, no t-shirt stuffed in there, no decal stuffed in there, bare bones in a bag, lifetime warranty, Lone Star lifetime warranty right there, right? And I open it up and everything is great. And I look at the holster and I, it seems nice. And I, I like the way it looks. I like everything about it. And then, and you can watch in the video. I was excited to do this one. And then I, I take out the one for the shield. And I open that one up. And then on the back of the bag, I see this. Mm. And it annoyed me. And I said, well, you know, you know, if I like the holster, if the holster's great, yeah, you like make them in the US, charge a little bit more money. It was it was an inexpensive holster, cheap in today's holster standards. And if it's a good holster, make it here, put Americans to work, make it with American pride, and charge a couple more bucks. And I bet people, especially the 2A community, will be willing to pay a couple extra bucks for a quality product. I was unhappy that it was made in China, but now I'm gonna go with my 60-day review. I have my Glock 19 here with the Amberite holster. I wore it for 60 days. To be honest, it was the best holster I've ever, 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 ever worn. Full stop. Wait for the end of the video. Please don't go out and buy one because I just said that yet. Wait for the end of the video. There's a surprise or a twist or a pretzel or a 
a U-turn or a monkey wrench, something's going to happen later. Just wait. I wear it for the 60 days. I could not find a downside to this holster. No downside. It didn't attract excessive lint. The retention was excellent. The clip was excellent. It didn't stick out from my body. It didn't hit anything. I wore it under the car. You could see how scraped up I got the, the clip. I wore it working on the car, under the car. I went to the range with it. I wore it every day for 60 days, no matter what I was doing. And there was no downside. None, 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 none. I was amazed. Never pinched me once. I never sat once. I never went and twisted or turned. Nothing, 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 nothing bad I could say about it. I said, it's too good to be true. I shelved it after 60 days and I went back to the original holster in our $40 holster challenge. And that was the We The People. And I went back to the We The People for two, three weeks maybe and realized what I didn't like about the We The People. And then I went back to the Amber Ride in the Glock 19 and wore it for another two to three weeks still was the best I've ever worn. And then I went back to the Concealment Express for the 19, and I wore the Concealment Express, and the Concealment Express, again, was good. Very good, as a matter of fact. However, depending on my fat man position in a chair or a seat or a driving or whatever, I, I did get a little pinch up in this area here or there. And I did one of these, do you know, fat man, reposition yourself, jiggle, and it went away. But it did. Then I went back to the Amber Ride for another two weeks, make sure it was what I thought it was, and it was good. And then I said, you know what? Let's see what it's like on the shield. So here I have it on the shield, and I've been wearing it for the last couple months, well longer than 60 days, on the shield right here. It's This is where I wear it. This is the position around 3.30 to 4 o'clock. I don't want to say... 4 o'clock because it's more of a 3.30. It's, it's just a little past halfway, a little past 3 o'clock. It fits nice in my fat. I wore it with a t-shirt tucked in. I wore it all summer. Both guns with no t-shirt up against my body. It never pinched me. This one either. Perfect. I never banged it because it stuck out just a little too far. If you remember in some of my other videos, I talked about how just a little bit sticking out from you that you're not used to. If you work in a place where there's some tight corners, or like here where there's a tight workbench, you could bang it. I never did. It, it just it just disappears. It's easy to draw. You just put your thumb down in there, and you're drawing. It is absolutely perfect. The retention is great. The holster is great. However, you know, nine minutes into the video, I'm going to tell you about one, one problem I found with this holster. One of the two. So this is problem number one, and this is the small problem. This loosened up, and I purposely didn't tighten it because I wanted to show everyone. This loosened up. Now, I didn't tighten this. Oh, yeah, I did. I did tighten it because I adjusted the clip to give me the most cant that it would give me, which is about 15 or so degrees. And I tightened it down, and it did loosen up over time. All right? I am rough on the holsters. Your results may vary. The thing that I don't like, though, you know, it's not so bad that it loosened up, but the thing that I don't like is in the bag with the holster comes uh, a hex key or an Allen key or uh, whatever you want to call it, all right? And that's how you retighten it, which is fine. But now you got to go find this or find one of these when you could just go and everybody's got a junk drawer in their kitchen that's probably got a couple screwdrivers, a hammer, a pair of pliers, a pair of nips, something... You can't just go in your junk drawer and grab a Phillips head screwdriver and, or a flathead and just tighten it, which you should be able to. That's silly. Don't use these fasteners. Because now, when you want to tighten, you got to go find the appropriate sized hex key. And I could give it a little, little tighten here. You know, maybe I didn't have it tight when I first did it. Right now, it's pretty secure. But the hex key. So that was the one of the two. That's 50% of the issue. Is it loosened up. Could be operator error, could be how rough I am on them, but having regular Phillips head screws would be much better and probably less money. I, I bet a Phillips head screw is going to be less than this custom hex head screw that they have here. Retention, again, the retention also has the Allen headed screw on the bottom. That I don't have as big as an issue with because the retention, it's kind of set it. You like where it is and you're going to forget it. But these two that you might that might loosen up over time or whatever, you might have to adjust. 
I just think Phillips heads are just much easier. All right, if you notice inside here, now I wear this, you know, it's an inside the waistband. I don't know how good you can see in there. Let me see if I get a light in there for you. You know, there is some lint. Let's see. Can you see the lint? All right, there you go. All right, there is some lint in there. Nothing excessive. I just find that the Kydex itself has a tendency to be linty, to attract lint. Not as much as the We The People did. The We The People attracted the most lint, the Consumer Express, the Next Least, and this one, the Next Least, because I really, when I took the 19 out of this holster, yesterday I was about to do the video, and the 19, the, the shield, rather, out of this holster, the shield was completely covered in, in inside your pants lint. And so this really isn't too bad. All right. Absolutely, the $40 holster challenge just moves into the number one spot. Number one. Number one up to this point. However, about a month ago, I'm getting ready to make the video, and I receive an email from a, one of the director of marketing and sales, or whoever it may be, from Tolster. Tolster, the Tolster Holster Company. And you know what he said? He said, hey, Rob, we really like your videos, and we would like your honest reviews, and we noticed that you didn't like the whole China thing with those Amberide holsters. And let me tell you what I know, he said to me. He goes, Amberide is involved now in litigation with Tulster. Tulster is going after Amberide because they copied their designs. I don't know if they infringed on the patents. Matter of fact, I could tell you exactly what he said. I got the email. It's from uh, the e-commerce and operations assistant. I'll just call him Joe. And... I get this email from Joe, he introduced himself when he said he works for Tulster, located in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Amberide has copied the designs of our holsters, mag carriers, and our patented mag retention device on our mag carriers and are selling them as Amberide. Our legal team is working on this, but we know they are a China-based company acting as if they are located in Texas. He went on to say that he likes uh, my videos and how I do my reviews and that they're honest. He wanted to say, hey, we're going to send you some Tulsa holsters and you give them a shot because Amberide's copying our shit. We're going after Amberide. They market it. They market their, their holsters as if they're a U.S.-based company and it's a Chinese company using Texas. Nobody likes that bullshit, especially me. It's just a shame that, that, that I like them so much. So so that's the second thing. So you got three things. I keep on saying two things. Well, I said we're saying one thing. So you got you, you got three things. To, uh, Amberide. So here's my final review on Amberide. The most comfortable holster I've ever tried to date. Hands down, bar none. Retention, clip, everything about it. However, made in China. Negative. The Allen headed fasteners. Now I'm being picky there, but that's a negative. And now Tolster is telling me this is a copy of their holster. This morning in the mail, I got a package from Tulsa. And right here, I have three Tulsas. Three Tulsas. I have three Tulsa holsters from Tulsa. Made in the United States. Lifetime warranty. And if they copied Tulsa, if Amberide copied Tulsa with such a, a tremendously good design then I think Tolster could be the one. In the next video, we're going to take these Tolster holsters out. We're going to take a good look at them. We are going to start our next 60, I guess we're going to call it the 60 plus day holster challenge doing holster Tulsas. Big thank you to them for sending Tolster holster. Oh, man, it's just tough to say. Tolster holsters will be our next Inside the Waistband, Kydex, 60-day holster challenge. Hope you enjoyed the video. Amberide, cheap, number one in our testing so far. Made in China. Definitely the most comfortable one I've had. Not, just re and the only other, it's really not a drawback, but remember, I like to check the compatibility of a Glock 19 and Glock 26. Can they be used in the same holster? The companies that provide that compatibility, it's just it's, it's an extra bonus for the guys that have 17s, 19s, 26s and interchange on holsters. Not all companies you can. It's not a negative to any one of those companies, but Amberide could not do that. You could not fit the 26 in the 19 holster. That was just 
uh, their design. Your results may vary. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comments in the description below. And in a couple days, we'll have that unboxing video up for you from Tolster Holster. Thanks for watching.